Why hello Zip Striker Army, welcome back to yet another episode of our Pokemon Soul Silver, the J Clock Randomizer. In the last episode we battled Usine and we battled the rest of the trainers en route. What was that? Whatever rot water route that is between um Olivine and Cyanwood. But anyway, we're gonna take on the Cyanwood City Pokemon Gym today. Let's read the good old sign. Cyanwood City Pokemon Gym Leader Chuck, his roaring fists do the talking. What do you want? You crossed the sea to get here. That must have been hard. Not really, no. Except for a bunch of annoying Staravia. That's about it. It would be much easier if your Pokemon knew how to fly. But you can't use fly without this city's gym badge. If you be the gym leader here, come see me. I'll have a nice gift for you. Alright, that's good incentive to try to win this gym badge today. But anyway... What I did off screen, I did a few things off screen. I didn't buy any more repel. I bought 20 fresh water, 15 soda pop, and 10 lemonade. And uh, I got myself up to 20 full heal just in case we need that kind of stuff. I, I was trying to do the lottery thing in the Golden Rod Department Center. I tried to get TM42, which we don't have yet. But I couldn't. I just got a lot of Dusk Ball and like, a lot of berries and stuff. So that was kind of useful. And I also bought two Poison Jab TM. Uh, with, that was actually Discharge, uh, not Spark in there, so that was pretty cool. I'm um, glad it was Discharge. What all can learn Discharge, just out of curiosity? Oh, Happy Ken. Obviously Scar Ken, not surprised about that. And I actually got Poison Jab for good reason. Um, can learn Poison Jab is simple. Uh, Kenya, the Star Raptor, can learn Poison Jab, so therefore, uh, I think my friends are coming, actually. Uh, I have a text message, and I really gotta check it. Maybe I'll be able to, you know, do the whole episode. Uh, yes, I need to text this really fast. Yes, you may. Sorry, my uh, one friend Jake is coming over to my house to play Yu-Gi-Oh. It's the same day. But anyway, we're going to be teaching Kenya Poison Jab. Sorry, I just had to make that message. <sighs> like, I don't want to get rid of... I feel like Wing Attack wouldn't be that good, but it's got a lot of PP. Endeavor Quick Attack could be potentially pretty good. I'm gonna get rid of Wing Attack, because Air Release always hits. Might come back to screw us over, but nonetheless, nonetheless, we got this. We got this, we got this, we got this. I'm actually gonna go ahead and use some fresh water on our Pokemon. That'll get up to full. I just want everybody up to full and ready for the gym. Because then I, I don't think I'll actually have to heal if I use the fresh water. So I'm not really cheating the system. Far from that. I actually have orange berries I could be using. Why am I doing that? Hello? I have like four orange berries, don't I? Yeah, I have four orange berries. Why do I waste that stuff? That doesn't seem like it's smart to waste the fresh water, you know, when we have orange berries. Seems pretty, pretty dumb, in my opinion. Anyway, where's that fresh water? We, we're going to use one more fresh water on Scar. And now we're for perfectly full health on everyone, so I'm not really too worried. Um, we're not going to lead with Star Raptor. We're going to lead with Brienne. Then again, it could be kind of risky, depending on what they lead with. But nonetheless, hi, Chuck. Chuck Palumbo, what's up, bro? He's so into training, he doesn't seem to notice you. But anyways, the champion of making dudes not in the gym because he got bullied out of here. Unless we are going to be battling all these trainers because we all have the experience. And I really don't think you can skip many trainers. I really don't. Hmm. Black Belt Yoshi and it has a Needle Queen. Um, that's kind of scary. Go, Zuzu. Go, Zuzu, go, Zuzu, go. Go Zuzu, go Zuzu, go! It's like Go Turtle, Go Turtle, go from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Mm, let's surf. You go for that double tail up. See how well that helps you. See how much that helps you. This surf should be a two-hit KO. I mean, Needle Queen is pretty bulky. Yeah, it's a. It's a close. It's close to two-hit KO. Body slam! Oh no, 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 no. That didn't do as much as I thought it would. Please be a two hit KO. Yes, it is. I didn't, I didn't think. I didn't think it would not. I don't know. I, I thought we'd get mid damage 
and we would knock it out. Yeah, I just didn't think it would knock it out. Oh well, point is we knocked it out, so that's good. We're golden. That Needle King was very threatening though. I am contemplating healing still before the gym. I feel like I always heal before every gym. Are you kidding me, a weasel? Go away. Go away. You can't hurt us. Give me something more difficult, please. But not too difficult. The other queen is actually kind of difficult a little bit. In a way. Masquerade. That's got Intimidate. But... We have Bobo. Yeah, I think I'm gonna heal before the gym. I think- just for the PP. Cause like... I don't wanna waste all my healing items already cause I just bought them. So... I'd rather not. If I can help it, if we can help it. I don't really feel it's worth it. Oh! Got the burn. Got him! Got him! See you later, bye! Yeah, we can just, uh, Ember here. I mean, we're not gonna need 12 Flame Wheel PP before we go heal, before the gym's leader, so... I ain't even worried, son! Level 21, not bad. We are kind of underleveled. Um, I'm actually gonna use Bobo to get to level 27 before the gym leader. I think there are three more trainers left, or two? Probably three. Oh, just two, actually. Just two indeed. Black Belt Leo. Oh, come on. That is not what I wanted to see at all. Oh, that's a threat. Oh, jeez. Mm, go Kenya. Man. That's... That's kind of scary, because we don't really have anything that takes it on that well. I mean, if it learns Ice Beam by level up, we're in trouble, but I'm just going to Aerial Ace it. Should be a solid 2 with KO. No. As it goes for Agility, so it's got Aqua Wearing, Agility, Water Pulse, probably. <laughs> yeah, Water Pulse, most likely. As we're still faster than an after plus two speed, that's just kind of funny to me. It's got amnesia, so it, you set up your stats all you want, buddy. Because you don't have another teammate to pass those stats into, so I really just don't care. You're not going for iron defense to so like baton pass, that kind of stuff, so really has no relevance at all. But we're level 27 with Bubble, so um, I'm more than happy about that. And one more trainer. This is being relatively easy so far. Uh, can we get Zuzu level is the question. I'm probably just going to spam Crab Hammer in this next game. Unless something's got Water Absorb. Even if it's like resist it by like... Even if it's like just 50% resist it. No more resist. Like, I'll probably just spam Crab Hammer. Because that's 100 power. With stab makes 150 power, resistance 75, which still does more than rock smash and tackle. So let's just spam crab hammer. As you set up reflect, but you know what, Trickerita? You're still getting knocked out, buddy. See ya. Wouldn't wanna be ya. There we go. Pale. Riolu. I'm not afraid of a Riolu. Is that his second Pokemon? Yeah, he's got he's got three. All right, tackle should be a two, three hit reversal. Yikes! Haunches do not much. We'll keep tackling away. Counter! Yikes! That's scary. Ah, uh, time to heal. Yeah, I'm going for a lemonade. That was kind of scary, but we didn't do that much damage. Like, I knew I had counter probably in the back of my head, I just didn't think about it. As it goes for reversal, it's not going to do very much, so. Reflect wore off. 
tackle is going to finish the job. It, or it should. If it doesn't, I, yeah, it does. We're, we're in grand shape now. Gold ducks coming out, huh? Uh, I guess we'll rock smash. That's fine with me. Uh, we'll just keep rock smashing. Maybe get a couple defense drops. Yeah. I'll go for two rock smash and then I'll go for crab hammer. Maybe we'll get uh, two def another defense drop. I've got a crit. <laughs> Skull's not a move right now, so I'm not really too worried. All right, let's crab hammer it up, fellas. Water pulse, don't confuse me. Good. See ya, gold duck. Bye. You resist that? Oh, I didn't hear you. You resist that? Nah, brah, you don't resist that. You just think you do. Alright, I'm just gonna go heal. Uh, I think that's all the trainers. Yep. <coughs> we'll beat a three tokens, but once we beat, beat uh, Chuck Palumbo there, old WWE wrestler, maybe his pale Billy Gunn will be here too. I don't know. Honestly, could deposit everybody and just count that as healing, but you know, probably faster just to heal than to deposit everyone and get everyone back in our party. Faster just to heal. But we're back to three tokens, so I don't feel like we're gonna get over five in this game. I really don't. Like, we could, potentially, but nah, I don't, I don't like it. Uh, yeah, we have to go all the way this way. Oh, man. Now I can go back around. I don't know why I did that. I would have had to go around that way. Now I can just go around because he's going to battle us. I will turn it. I will turn it. That way we can battle Chuck Palumbo down there. Or Chuck Norris. Either way, Chuck is going down today. Who do you want to lead with? I feel like Kenya is just the safest. I feel like for whatever reason he's going to lead a water type. Or a flying type. So we're going to lead with Skyr. But let's face Chuck Palumbo. Hmm. The pounding waterfall right onto my head. Arrgh. Why did you stop the water from, from pouring on me? You just spoiled my training. I have yet to warn you that I am a strong trainer. Training every day under this waterfall. What? It has nothing to do with Pokemon! That's true. Come on, we shall do battle. This is Chuck. Normally specializes in fighting type Pokemon. And normally leads with the Primate. What is he gonna lead with, actually? He's gonna lead with a Wigglytuff. It just so happens we have a perfect Pokemon to deal with the Wigglytuff. It's called my beautiful girlfriend, Brienne the Heracross. And her brick breaking action. Oh, you disable, huh? I'm gonna brick break you. Honestly, it should be a solid two hit KO. Barring a disable. Barring a disable here. As it puts us to sleep with Sing. Now, I really don't want a disable coming our way. However, I really think it's inevitable, so. I actually did get a Chelsea Berry while I was playing the lottery machine thingamajig in Goldenrod Department Center. So I got a Chelsea Berry, I'll use it. The Fence Curl. I don't really think that's going to help you, buddy, but you know, you can do what you want. And regardless, this Brick Break's still going to knock you out. Okay? Okay, I'm glad we see it our way. Bye, Wiggly Tough. That gave us, like, no experience. Heracross Destruction! Oh, bye, Blissey! You don't have anything on our... Oh, my lord. Please hit. I think you're getting no-go, Blissey. I don't care about your HP stat. You're gonna get O-Code no here. Oh, it lives as he gets to heal. Ooh. I think he's got a Hyper Potion, so we're going to Leer, and then Brick Break knocks him out, right? Do not miss either move. 
Uh, Blizzy, I want a Blissey Oko here. I don't know about you guys, but I, for one, want a Blissey Oko here. One hit knockout right here, right now, as long as we hit our brick break on it, because we got a minus defense on it. No, Bran, you got this. Come on. We can't afford to use all of our brick break on this thing. If anything, I'm supposed to start after. But I want you, Bran, to get the knockout on this Blissey. And no matter what, it can't really touch us. So we're staying in until we knock out Blissey. Right here and right now. Because it can't live. It's got that minus defense. Come on. Slowly but surely wins the race. As we do indeed. And knock out the Blissey. One hit knockout. Boom. Got it. <coughs> Roar. Uh, I'm going to pass on Roar. I really think Roar is very useful. We should be level 23. As we are. That was a really underwhelming gym fight. That was a really, really underwhelming gym fight, if I do say so myself. Hmm. I lost. How about that? All right. You're worthy of the Storm Badge. And we get the Storm Badge from Chuck Palumbo and Chuck Norris himself. The Storm Badge lets your Pokemon fly to any city or town you've already been to. Here, take this too. And we get TMO1s, which typically contains Focus Punch. What it contains in here, I have no idea, but we're going to check that out right now. It is Magic Coat. I don't know, I, maybe that could have a niche later on, but most likely we're going to sell that, I feel. I don't know. I really feel like that'll be that useful, but nonetheless... We're gonna actually go out and get Fly, but she just comes right straight to us. That's Cyan Woods Gym Badge. Then you should get this HM, which we get Fly. We can fly back to Olivine. Conveniently enough, we're going to do that right here now after we teach something Fly. What all learns Fly? No, we want to be in that pocket. Um. Now nah, we're gonna give it to Happy. Because I don't really want Fly on Kenya. Plus, Happy needs like a stab move, I guess. It's not very good. Its base attack is atrocious, but nonetheless, I mean, it can be used for Fly. So that's what we're gonna do. Fly and Honor Hop it. We're so happy about that. Pun intended. Anyway, thank you guys for watching another episode of our Pokemon Soul Silver, the Jake Clock Randomizer. In the la next episode, we will be taking on the Olivine City Pokemon Gym, back to back gym episodes. So if you guys could please electrify that like button, like a Substrike Wood, Substrike Army. Hey, thank you for watching and have a great day. I love you all very much. Bye bye, guys.